So we're going to do an accurate representation of what happened to Oliver Copperspoon when he drowned in the last uh, in the last episode. <coughs> uh, oh no, I've drowned. Where am I? Oh no, I'm in a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're transitioning. He drowned in the water and washed up on this frozen icy river shore area and then wandered around for a little bit until he found some civilization. Welcome back to Deck of Craft. So, as you can see, I'm already level 13 and I have been playing it a little bit. I'm going to show you guys what I actually did very shortly um, in like an, a little montage thing because I didn't do too much. I, I've been mining and I sort of looked around the spawn and stuff. You'll get to see where the spawn is. Um, but I already knew of this seed. So I tried starting a server. It didn't work. It didn't go very well. Um, but the seed was really, really good. So I thought, you know what? Why not, you know, use the, use the seed that we've been provided with? Why not? I recently found a ravine and I'm very happy that there's a ravine over there. This <laughs> makes the whole thing a whole lot easier. Because um, we can use that ravine as part of our story. Um, but anywho, so we're going to be building in the snow this time. We're not going to be going to the never anytime soon because I want my never to update. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I did when I first started and basically give you a little tour of what I've actually done so far, which is not a lot, and what I plan to do. Okay, so hopefully, if I have done that right, <laughs> I've managed to edit in some stuff, some nifty things. Um, so, here we are, at our little winter biome. You know how much I love villages. Um, I love me some traders. We're going to be messing around with some traders still. Um, I'm working on getting some farms set up. It's not going too well so far. <laughs> uh, but we're getting there, we're getting there. It has been forever since I did a survival in the snow. It has been a very, very, very long time. I don't think I've done one since they added in all the different types of planks, which that gives you a rough idea of how many years ago it was, um, back when they put in like the birch planks and the spruce planks. Uh, but yeah, Deck of Craft is continuing and we're going to be doing this new kingdom, this new build, survival build on this world. Starting in the snow and probably continuing in the snow for quite some time because there's a lot of snow um, But as you saw hopefully in my little montage, there's a lot of stuff over there There's a lot of stuff over there by the spawn and there's like a nice beach area that we can work with um, Like I said, we've just found the ravine. There's an abandoned village. I think um, Oh, no, it's not an abandoned one, but it's just a small village over in that direction for a second build um, So yeah, we're gonna be working on some stuff and I've set up a mine. Um, I don't really have like a name for my original starting town. I'm thinking Greydale because it's a throwback to my old creative that I did with Aiden. Um, there's like a video on the channel somewhere of us doing like a 30 minute tour of that creative world. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking about sort of paying homage to that a little bit. But I'm not fully sure. And like a lot of it is going to be grey. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I've got like a little line mine in the side of there, and that also bumps into another ravine that's just uh, over that hill. Um, and I'm not fully sure where I'm really going to take it to begin with. It's really, really difficult starting off, which I remember struggling on my other um, series with it. But yeah, I'm working on a storage room to begin with and sort of like trying to pick up a design uh, that we can move forward with. And I've sort of gone with using stone, stone brick, faith, uh, faithful, that's the name of the texture pack, um, stone brick, 
stone uh, cobble with some andesite thrown in. Um, and I don't know if I like it at the moment. I kind of do. I'm kind of working with it. Um, it's going to have like a big massive roof on the top of it, uh, made out of dark oak planks. And yeah, we're just having like a nice little experiment. This is just going to be a storage place with like storage upstairs as well. Um, a nice place for us to put everything. Put everything. Um, and then I'm going to start taking shit down. We're going to start taking shit down, clearing stuff out, working on it. Um, just getting this place looking a lot nicer and ready to build on and lay things out on and getting all the basics done, getting all the farms done, getting everything done. So today's point of task, or today's episode, uh, has the task of finishing our lovely storage unit and getting it all kitted out with all the things that we need, essentially. So hopefully I can get that done today. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't take me too long to get it finished, but I've got quite a few materials quite a few tools and our mine is pretty decent um, and yeah I've got a couple of plans I've got a couple of plans I also want to get a map sorted out um, which I think I might be able to do now don't you need a uh, gold for a compass I can't even remember it's been forever it has been forever uh, in fact that's just popped up no you just need paper so we can make it just a normal bog standard map, can we not? Boom. Boom. So hopefully, I don't know where we are. I'm very confused looking at this. Oh, we're pretty much stood like right here. No? Yeah? I don't know. Yeah, because that's like the bend. On the uh, on the river and there are houses over there. I couldn't see because <laughs> all the fucking snow is on the roofs. And I was like, wait, where is everything? And then I sort of realised that there's like vague outlines of stuff. Um, so this should update as we go along and as we build things. And then once we're at a stage where we quite like it, we can lock it into place. Um, so this is going to get whacked up in an item frame. And we'll keep track of it. And hopefully it should look very, very nice. You can see our storage shed at the bottom there. Um, and yeah, I want to have like a nice little world map for us to continue updating. So I will probably work on also sugar caning quite a bit. We've got to get an enchantment table sorted out. All of that good stuff, but we're not going to be going to the nether until the 1.16 update drops. Which it might be a while, it might not be a while, I don't know. But Deck of Craft is continuing. For now, storage room time. Okay, so we're pulling a little bit of a flip, and we're trying to work around fucking renovations and shit that are going on outside, so I finished doing the storage hut, as hopefully you saw, and I also started working on this, this little building here, um, and started laying out the rest of this little area. So I wanted to show you guys the storage hut real quick, so I've got a little campfire outside. Um, I wanted to have it exposed, but it started melting all the ice. Um, but I have replaced the floor, so maybe it'll look okay? We'll, we'll experiment with that, but I wanted like a little shelter outdoor area where we can maybe put some wood um, And maybe a couple of planks or something if I can fucking get under here <laughs> um, But yeah, the interior is mostly done as well. It doesn't have like a fancy name or anything. It's just a fucking storage shed But this is what it looks like. We've got a couple of racks of food Plenty of room for us to store all of our future shit um, and I don't know if I will go through and label every single chest or whether we'll just bang it in whatever, but so far I've got like uh, stone building materials and wood building materials. So it's going okay so far. It's going okay so far. Um, and then I started working on this house. I needed to come up with like some sort of cool house design. Ow. 
so I actually went on to one of my previous worlds, um, and it was a creative that I've spoken about, and I was building in Chroma Hills at the time, and I was like, hmm, I want to see if I can replicate that style or something very, very similar. Um, so this is what it is, essentially. <laughs> We're having a little bit of a mess around, having a little bit of a play around, and hopefully, um, by the next episode, oh, pardon me, I tried to burp, by the next episode I can get this done, and we'll have the first building fully finished and completed. Um, this house is going to be for TJ whenever he comes on to help me with materials and stuff. Um, he's going to be like the only help that I actually get doing any of this and it's all going to be materials related. Um, I don't believe he's a confident builder. Um, he keeps on insisting that he's not. <laughs> so I'm going to take his word uh, and hopefully he can just help me get resources and grind stuff and maybe even tackle some of the bosses and stuff like that. Um, when we actually get round to that. And he'll obviously be here for some of the Never Update stuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted to put some planks in the roof so that we still got some of the snow. I think that it looks really, really cool getting some snow piled up on top of there. Um, and adds a lot to the shape of the roof. So, my next task is to finish that building. And you might have seen at the back, but we've got uh, an outline for a bridge. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Pardon me. So I want to get the industrial side finished first, which is going to be a lot of sort of warehouses over here, or at least one warehouse over here, like some sort of shed, and then open up the entrance to the mine a little bit more, um, and just get some stuff laid out here, like a little smelter, an area to store all of our ores, and ingots, and coal, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, or at least make it look like that's where we're storing it, even if we just keep it in the actual shed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this first episode. It's a little bit of a chaotic and all over the place one, but I hope it sort of sets a standard for what the rest of the series will be like. Um, and I hope that my sort of build style is a little bit more interesting than the previous one, because the previous one was very, very tame. Um, and I was very, very nervous about building on camera when I started that last one. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a thumbs up, comment suggestions down below on what you think I should build, um, if anything springs to mind. And if you've got any tips for building in the snow, or how to set up fans in the snow, or anything along those lines, let me know. Um, because everything's a little bit clustered at the moment, and a little bit all over the place, but I'm still working on the bare bones essentials of everything. Still trying to get farms set up, still trying to get the enchantment table sorted, trying to get all of the starting, beginning stuff done so that we can just crack on a build and grind and get everything sorted. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier in the video that there's a ravine over there, which we're going to end up turning into another redstone ravine, um, and there's one over there as well. I don't know if I'm going to use both. I might. I might. We'll wait and see. Um, but the one over there is very, very nice and very, very cool to use, so we might end up actually starting that sooner than expected, if I can get the hole at the bottom sort of covered over with obsidian <laughs> and enough redstone to put into the walls of it and stuff. We're gonna have to do some renovating. So I've got to finish that house, get that sorted for TJ, I've got to get my own house sorted. Uh, I've got to clear everything down and continue on with some starter stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a thumbs up like I mentioned and comment down below if you've got any suggestions or if you know anybody that's been building in snow that I should take a look at or anything along those lines, feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Deck of Cards, and this has been Deck of Craft. It's very difficult to say, Deck of Cards and Deck of Craft. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.